Welcome to the Bohr atomic model in which we will take a look at how light energy and electron energy led Niels Bohr to proposing his planetary model of the atom. Let's see what Bohr knew back in 1913 that allowed him to develop his model of the atom. First there is the electromagnetic spectrum. We can look at this spectrum as wavelengths of light that have a very wide range from greater than 100 meters to less than a trillionth of a meter. A narrow band within that range are light waves that our brains can detect through our eyes absorbing those energies, and so this is the visible spectrum, with each color corresponding to a different wavelength. Other wavelengths correspond to a variety of different waves, such as radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet x-rays, and gamma rays. And these are simply names given to different ranges of wavelengths, and as the wavelengths get shorter, the energy of the wave gets bigger. Bohr knew that 1. Electrons have energy, 2. Light has energy, and 3. Energized elements emit various colors of light that are unique to each element, or in other words, each element has its own unique signature of colors. But no one knew why. Bohr figured out the why, and that is what this video is about. How did he do that? Let's look at the element that Bohr first looked at, hydrogen. If we energize hydrogen gas with an electric current, hydrogen emits a color spectrum of four colors. Our nervous system, however, is not able to see the four individual colors. Our brain integrates those four colors into one specific color, so that's the color we see. But when we diffract or split hydrogen's pale pinkish color, we can then see the colors that are actually being emitted by hydrogen atoms violet at 411 nanometers, blue at 434 nanometers, a blue-green at 486 nanometers, and red at 656 nanometers. This is the emission spectrum of hydrogen. An emission spectrum is all the specific colors emitted by an energized substance. In 1913, using the atom's vast empty space provided by Rutherford's nuclear model of the atom, Niels Bohr created a model of the atom that explained the behavior of electrons in the atom and explained the existence of the emitted colors. In Bohr's atomic model, the electrons orbit the nucleus. The electrons can only have specific, discrete energies, and the higher their allowed energy, the larger the radius of their orbit. In Bohr's model, for an electron transitioning from higher to lower energy, from a further orbit to a closer orbit, the difference in energy is emitted as light. A larger difference in the change of the electron energy results in higher energy light. The energy of the emitted light is equal to the electron's energy change, and those different light energies give us different colors of light. Notice that in the transition, the electron does not exist in between those allowed energies. The electron can only exist at discrete, allowed energies. If the electron could exist at any energy, then there would be any amount of change in electron energy, which would result in emitting a large spectrum of colors, a continuous rainbow. But only specific colors are seen, and those specific colors are constant. And so the electron changes are constant. And so the electron exists at specific, discrete energies. The orbits are numbered with integers, which has important mathematical significance in Bohr's analysis and representing the electron's energy. Bohr found that these energies result in hydrogen's emission spectrum. An electron's energy change from n equals 3 to n equals 2 emits the energy of red light. An electron's energy change from n equals 4 to n equals 2 emits the energy of blue-green light, and from 5 to 2 gives blue light. Without being disturbed, the electron exists at the lowest energy possible, which is called the ground state. If a ground state electron absorbs the right amount of energy, it can go to a higher energy, but will then lose that energy in the form of light and go back to ground state. The electron that has absorbed energy is called an excited state electron. So ground state absorbs energy, goes to excited state, loses energy, and goes back to ground state. Ground state electron, excited state electron, and ground state electron. The amazing thing is that Bohr's model was able to account for the emission spectra of all the other elements, 
And so it became a very powerful model from which to build the current model of the atom, the quantum mechanical model. In summary, electrons orbit the nucleus at specific energies. The higher the electron energy, the further its orbit is from the nucleus. Three electrons will remain at the lowest possible energy, the ground state, unless they absorb a specific amount of energy that will allow them to get to a higher allowed energy called the excited state, which is a larger orbit. Four, if an electron absorbs energy, it will then lose that energy in the form of light energy, which we see as specific colors when diffracted. Bohr's model was an essential step toward developing the quantum mechanical model of the atom over the following 13 years, which is our current model of the atom. See ya!